In this question, we know this number k is an integer, and a glance at the statements indicates that we may or may not have a thousands digit. We can imagine the digits each in a spot like this. Here the shaded position is the hundreds digit, which is what we're looking for. Let's turn to the data statements separately first. Statement 1 describes the thousands digit of 10k. For example, if k is 725, then 10k is 7250. Since multiplying by 10 adds the digit 0 onto a number and shifts the existing digits to the left, then the thousands digit of 10k will always equal the hundreds digit of k. Statement 1 therefore gives us sufficient information to answer the question. Statement 2 tells us about the hundreds digit of k. Again, 725 is a permissible case because k plus 1, or 726, has a hundreds digit of 7. The question is, will the hundreds digit be 7 in all permissible cases? 799 is not a permissible case because k plus 1 equals 800 doesn't have a hundreds digit of 7. But along those lines, k equals 699 is a permissible case because k plus 1 equals 700 and it does have a hundreds digit of 7. And that case, that legal case, gives a different answer to the question posed of what the hundreds digit of k is. Therefore, statement 2 does not give us sufficient information. The correct answer is A.